Hey, it's the Worst Days. We are live here on the Worst Days. Hey, everybody. I'm your game master, your host, your your stream, your stream master ex extraordinaire. <laughs> here hey. we are. Uh, I am here with with four wonderful people uh, tied up in the closet and four rapscallions here <laughs> on <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> Uh, with me tonight, um, oh, hey, Gophersaurus, I just out the gate subscribing at Tier 1. What's up, yeah. Gophersaurus? Thank you. Um, I'm here with Justin Allen. How are you, sir? I'm doing all right. I am, I am here, hopefully not gonna die, but prepare to die if needed. Yeah. Or if it happens. Um, and you also have a pretty strong commitment to acting. So, exactly. um, yes. <laughs> the, <laughs> uh, that... Uh, I, it's also a good philosophy to just have in general about life. I'm here, ready to die <laughs> if, 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 it, if it happens. Uh, also here uh, with us tonight, uh, their philosophical commitments undetermined. Quinn Steve Paul is here. How are you, Quinn? I'm good. Um, I'm great. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> Y'all, my curtain's <laughs> definitely gonna fall, but... Uh-huh. It'll be fine. Yeah. Just um, un call. Unlike unlike the scrim at all high school productions, it's physically not capable of falling on my head. So. Well, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. I. Uh, I try to intentionally keep a good amount of space behind me. Uh, one, so that nobody can just sort of walk up and and kill me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but two, so things can't just fall on me. Uh, that's. Oh, also. Next time you all see me, I might be in a new location because oh. I'm moving Ooh. soon. Oh, there's a lot of that going around. <laughs> uh, Justin, you didn't mention that the next time we see you, you might be in a new location. Well, because I don't know if it will be the next time. Well, that's why the word the might is in there. It, you, you see how Quinn qualified it to be like, yeah, I might be in a new location. I mean, I guess technically all of us might be in a new location the next time Look. you see us. Look, so, I am being somewhat representative of my southern heritage right uh -huh. now and not including everything I should be saying. That's okay? fair. Yeah, no, and that's I'm, fair. I'm being true to my Midwestern roots and oversharing. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, let's get away from all of that and get up to New York. Rachel Max is here. How are you, Rachel? Hey, it's funny that Justin was like, I'm ready to die because I literally sent you a message today saying if you gotta kill me, do it. I, I, you gotta do what you gotta do. I get, I get a lot of those uh, <laughs> during the adventure where people are just like, look, if you gotta kill me now, you know, I'm ready. Um, I'm like, okay, we haven't even created characters yet. It's it's time to... <laughs> um, no, Josh, Josh plays. that was a request. Yeah, that, please that was, kill me. That was out of character. <laughs> right. Sorry. Sorry, you need to put OOC on there. Can yeah, you my please bad, my bad. send someone to kill me? Um, <laughs> and uh, our, our final member here is the person I would send to kill Quinn. <laughs> Michael Morris is here. How are you, Michael? <laughs> Cocked and loaded, and I'm ready to survive, uh, baby. Yep. <laughs> yep, absolutely. That's the that's the, the the mentality to have on what is probably the last episode oh. of Adventure. Uh, you guys did walk into a pretty gnarly situation, uh, and I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, so Bree Price is not with us. Uh, Bree uh, has has had to move on, and um, we are uh, we're going to address that situation pretty quickly here. Um, and, uh, oh, geez, that's just, <laughs> chat got real dark real fast. Um, <laughs> just, just Quinn's just, like, streaming from inside one of those, like, sliding drawers. Y'all, the <laughs> update, this is the morgue. I died three days ago because Michael killed me, and, oh my god, guys, it is fantastic. Yeah, that's, um, I'm shocked that you did not end that with, I'm dead. Um, oh my like, god, guys! Yeah. I'm so dead. I can't believe I missed that. Oh and my not god! Not only am I dead inside, I'm also dead outside. <laughs> my floors have never looked better. <laughs> um, so for those who don't know, the worst days is a horror TTRPG that we're hoping to put out next year through Apon Games. If you want to learn more about Apon Games, go to apongames.com. Uh, we actually have a game that is out on itch.io right now. Uh, if you want to check that out, go to bit.ly slash broken game with the B and the G capitalized. And um, 
we have a lot of stuff going on. Uh, uh, I'm not going to shill all of that right now, but uh, if you want to get the earlier episodes of this adventure, uh, head head to uh, uh, apongames.com, click on the YouTube link, and you can find that uh, all of this in Shore Leave. And uh, we are we're probably going to wrap this up. So last time, uh, the the AI Val uh, had taken over a robot body that Rachel. Uh, Rachel's character, Kaylee, uh, who is in a very roundabout way based on the Kaylee of Firefly, but not really, uh, who is also... Completely unrelated, but also completely related. Exactly. As far removed as possible. The, the, <laughs> the most you can base a character on Kaylee for someone who's never heard of Kaylee. Um, <laughs> uh, if you want an explanation of that, go check out the first episode of the series. Um, so it's you like, guys... It's like when you do an impression of somebody's impression. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> when you're like, this is my Christian Slater impersonation, and you're like, you're doing a Jack Nicholson impersonation. <laughs> and you're like, who the hell's Jack Nicholson? And you're like, yeah, that's... <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so... Last time Val, the robot, the AI of the, sh of the station... Um, sort of uh, befuddled you all by sacrificing itself to save you uh, while you all probably were um, uh, expecting things to go badly with Val. But um, uh, oh yeah, uh, Mubot, uh, Mubot in the chat is, is probably not working as well as it, as it should at the moment. Uh, so uh, or, or maybe we've reached the, the end of its states for the moment. Um, they've not worked the past few weeks, which is why I haven't been updating them. Cause I was like, Oh yeah, I need to fix it. But now they seem to be working and they're like, by the way, I don't have any more right now. So thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot. Mubot. Uh, so, um, the, uh, Val saved you all and you made it into the main hub of the station. And, uh, Basically, you found yourselves in a situation where the radio uh, connectivity, all the radio computers and the connectivity are at the top of this big cylindrical hub. And down at the bottom, you saw a sign for defense fighters uh, for the station. So, uh, but also spread out across this sort of cylindrical station and, and there's railing in front of you. You can look down and you can look up. It's like a big, uh, a big sort of, I, I keep saying cylindrical, but it's a big cylinder that the middle of the cylinder is empty uh, and you can look up and down. There are all these floors going up and all these floors going down. And uh, you can, you can see all of that. And the, uh, there are just lots and lots of, uh, these sort of pulsing gray, brown, green slug type things sort of glommed on to everything. And I, I described them last time as like being like cocoons. They, you don't have any reason to think that they are cocoons, but they sort of have that look to them. Like they're kind of cocoon-esque, uh, just sort of stuck to things. Uh, and this is kind of what you have to make your way through. So the natural division here seems like it should be uh Vembo uh going with Rhino and everybody else going to the top of the station. What do you guys think about that? Yeah. We communicate We're... with each other via hand signals. <laughs> <laughs> to right, sure. Us. Like <laughs> Okay. Uh where would Rhino go? Straight down. So you're going to start heading down the cylinder to the bottom where you, you see uh, essentially signs for uh, the Fighter defense heads. fighters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, now your, your sort of immediate guess is that basically these things are sort of stuck to the bottom of the station. Like when you get down there, mm -hmm. there's going to be a hatch. You're mm -hmm. going to be able to slide down. There's probably a flight suit and a helmet down there. Uh, and you're going to be able to sort of like, you know, old timey uh, uh, biplane on a, on a dirigible, <laughs> right? Like 
where you reach up and you pull the lever and it just lets your plane go. Uh, oh. That's the that's that's slightly more advanced, but that's kind of the picture you have in your head. So um, that's what's below, and above is all the communications equipment of the station. Uh, our, before we start making our way down, do we have any dots on our radar down there? Or is it, like, too far to see? It's a little too far to see, uh, but also, like, everything here is kind of... It doesn't do really well with verticality. Okay. So it's, like, it's kind of telling you what's in front of you and behind you, and, like, maybe that's a little bit above or a little bit below, but it doesn't really differentiate above and below. Okay. Um, I forget. Did I... I think I did. I, I grabbed a fire extinguisher. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I kind of look at everyone, and I mime, like, opening it. I'm throwing it across this, like, thing. Like, mm. distraction. Uh, Deb gives you a nod. I wait for the others. <laughs> Kaylee just shrugs at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay um question this is why what? we don't do this as a podcast by the way this is it. <laughs> just that just that like <laughs> i mimed emotion All right, next um and then then i'm like i mouth now or later Uh, I sign emergency <laughs> in ASL. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's GSL now, by the way. <laughs> Galactic sign <Yeah>. language. <laughs> um, Max hits himself on the forehead, and the rest of the conversation is now in GSL because it's the future and everyone can speak it. Yep. Uh, also, like, whatever your HUDs are, are going to be able to interpret what people are... <laughs> Like, when people move their hands, like, they're, like, uh, the it's yeah, just a little speech. letter pops up right next to it. Yeah. Um, um, what is and both up pops up that in we are going code. up? Y'all are going to... Communications is up, yeah. right? Yeah, communications right. is up. Yeah. So you're... Yeah. So, so the goal is you guys are going to try and signal to, like, the, um... Like the main, the the main fleet? force. The, the main fleet. fleet. The main yeah. Fleet. Yeah. yeah what's going on and rhino and i are going to fuck shit up or like what's our plan we're gonna blow up the station i don't know i, I kind of feel like we're like the getaway vehicle like okay we get I it all like set we never up fully discuss the plan nope you no, did not no because this this is where we were going to be torn on no we yeah. needed to go up to security and then we can find a way down i will say okay. the philosophical viewpoints so far were mm -hmm. signal to tell people to never come here. Signal to tell people to definitely come here. And then Rhino heard that there's fighters and he's like, how can I get to them? Gotcha. That was the yeah. full yeah. plan Everything there. Everything else went out the window. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, so. Is there yeah. like, I guess, is there a way for us to like pick the radio people up? Like. So that fighter has has a, has seat for one person most likely. Hmm. That is a single fighter, single person fighter craft. There might be a couple of them down there, but yeah. one person and a thumbo. Sit on my lap. Sit on my lap. I mean, if you want to put like a fishbowl over your head and sit in the astromech droid <laughs> slot, maybe, but like. <laughs> Then, but work the pedals. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a this is a one person. This is a single seater. Single but, no, there's a possibility that it's a two seater, <laughs> um, but your your guess is it's probably a you know a single seater snub fighter. Okay, okay. And it's also and it's, like... it's also assumed that there's probably going to be an escape pod around communications as well. Oh yeah, there there are absolutely taken. escape pods yeah. out of here. But they would be at the oh, top and the okay. bottom as well because yeah. they're not going to shoot you like into the rest yeah. of the hub. Yeah. 
Uh, then I will GSL. Uh, what do you guys think about? I'll basically run, or me and Thembo, if if they can fit, uh, run like cover you guys, because last time there were goopies all over the escape pods on the outside of the ship, so we could run coverage to get you guys out safely. We could do a distraction beforehand, shoot the other side of the ship. I don't want to wait. Uh, run a diversion on it and to pull. Pull the yeah, attention. Like, figure it out yeah. what draws their attention because it would be a shame to do a distraction. I should be doing Southern accent. We're doing GSL right now. Yeah, you don't um, you don't yeah, sign in the Southern accent. Yeah. That a lasts a little bit longer. That's not how it works. Uh, but have we figured out in GSL uh, what draws their attention? It would be a shame to make a whole distraction that did absolutely nothing and just waste time, which we are par possibly wasting time now. So we could hold off on a distraction. You guys go up, uh, we go down, we get the fighters out. Um, you send a signal saying, don't come here, shit's bad. Like, seriously, you will not survive. Just let this be a tomb. Um, and we'll wait up top for you guys if you're not out in 30 minutes. We'll come back and blow up the station. So... Are we? I. I. I don't want to die in here. <laughs> well, I, ideally, we wouldn't be blowing up the station. Like, ideally, you guys even get in the escape pod and. <laughs> even if we say it's a tomb, we're just waiting for it to come get us. Oh, no, you guys are getting in an escape pod up there. If yeah, there you is guys one. are getting out of here. Yeah. If not, you guys are just going to find another escape pod. It'll be fine. I'm sorry, you guys? What, what about you guys? We're going to get the fighter so we can cover y'all. You're going to get out too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Most important thing is we need to get a signal out. Uh, Michael, hmm. do, you, do you need to give me a deception roll? Uh, no. I, okay. All right. I don't believe so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one. Tonight, I mean, guys. <laughs> I think you might. In it, fairness, only only Vembo said that they're getting out. Uh, Rhino didn't say anything. No, he did say right. Oh. Yeah, okay. he did. Yeah. Close enough. <laughs> yeah, I think it's possible that there might need to be a deception roll, because I don't know if Kaylee personally believes you. Or maybe persuasion. Maybe <laughs> maybe he is telling the truth. I mean, you could him. certainly do a persuasion roll. And once again, yeah. I, uh, uh, hey, don't even bother. I'm fucking gullible. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna work. He's. I was gonna say it actually would probably be Thembo because Thembo's making more of the case. But yeah, if if Kaylee's Kaylee's probably I'm gonna gullible. believe. Them. Yeah. I'm gonna probably believe you. Unfortunately, I don't believe you. Sure. <laughs> um, the plan is for everybody to get out. Right. And okay. go have incredible okay. families and live in suburbs. Well, mm -hmm. we'll all be neighbors. <laughs> you're, inclined, you're inclined to believe me because I'm a very honest person and I'm also quite gullible. Yeah. Um, Josh. Mm hmm. I'm just trying to figure, like, if, if we have to make a roll. I have Don't Tell Me the Details. Uh huh. Which basically just, I'm very confused and take a negative D1 to all Booksmarks roll when trying to comprehend a detailed plan. Yeah, which sure. Which is what we're making right now. Um, so anything going forward with this plan will I have that negative D1 on? I So I don't actually think you've reached the complicated plan part yet. Because okay. right now the plan okay. is you guys go to the top and do the radio. Okay. They go to the bottom and do the shooting. Um, okay, that, and, okay that's, that was, I was wondering yeah. if we were still... We haven't passed that part of the plan okay. yet. Like, yeah, okay. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Then Bo say... has that too, so that's <laughs> about as detailed as we're going to get. I was going to say, I'm mostly worried about them Bo's comprehension. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm saying it, I understand it. You go up, say, do tech, we go down, mm -hmm. pew, pew, pew. Deb okay. is, like, signaling very frantically that you should go up. Uh, that, that those who are going up should go up. Um. Okay. We need to move. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, so the, the group, uh, 
that's going up uh, basically starts going right along the walkway, and the group that's going down starts going left around the walkway mm -hmm. to respective staircases that connect the layers. Um, yeah, everybody give me a sneak roll, which is under cunning. Under so, money. yeah, so if you have... Uh, <laughs> If you have a, a, a sneak ability, great. If not, just roll cunning. And remember, the the it is exclamation mark D space however many dice you're going to roll. <laughs> Would you consider this a deception? <laughs> no. <laughs> not this <Damn>. time. <laughs> you had Here's your deception chance, Michael. <laughs> Here's the thing. I am incredibly agile because I have such great physical prowess. Uh huh. Does it have to be cunning? What? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was a. Does it have to be cunning? Yes, it has to be cunning. Cunning <laughs> for sneaking. Uh, Rachel, did you get a private okay. message oh, on your? Oh no. I typed it in so you guys can see it. Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, Josh, I got a one. Oh, uh, cool, cool. Um, Come on, I'm with you. I, I got a 17. Yeah, but he, got, but he got a one on his, his yeah. uh, I got last a day. six. What did I get? I Oh, did I? I think I sixed. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, you, you did six. six. And Quinn, you got, did you get a full six or? I just, uh, just total of six. Up to a six. It adds up special. to a six. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, no. How many fortune right. points do you need before it gets good? Uh, to get you to do your fortune, I believe you need five. Oh, I'm so close. Two more. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, so Thembo got a six, and everybody else got a pretty good roll. Um, yeah, everybody else got a got a pretty decent roll. So, go baby. Uh, oh, and I need to. I actually don't know what, but we'll do. Um, we'll do three. Okay, and so that's for Deb. All right, the two teams split up. As you're heading down the steps, Thembo trips a little bit, um, but uh, but Rhino oh. catches them pretty quickly, and uh, while you make noise. And some of the things around you sort of pulsate and uh, and sort of jiggle about a little bit. Uh, after being still for a couple of seconds, you guys actually start heading down again. Shaggy and Scooby start start heading <laughs> heading sneakily down uh, again. Oh. Um, up going up though, uh, things go fine. Uh, you guys are able to go up a couple of levels. Until you reach a point where you can't go up any further. Because there are those creatures just sort of on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Josh, can I make a sharp eye roll? Um, sure. To, or or an obs uh, for observation? Yeah. Um, it's kind of easy to see if there's another way or... Um, I'm gonna roll and then I want I'll ask you okay. a question then. So that'd Why don't be. Why you ask questions that maybe I could also do the same thing because I'm also observant. That'd be a physical prow or I forget what. Observation, Observation. is also cunning. Okay, cunning. So, uh, you have. Okay, and I can't add observant to this, correct? Uh, why, what, what does observant do? I don't Observant, you spend years studying people and you know their tales. Oh, you know, sure, yeah, no, someone, that's, that's yeah. more about people than yeah. other situations. Okay. Sharp okay. eye, what do you want to do? Sharp eye, that's a two, plus, I get a, but I get a plus one to that, so that's a 16. Okay, Um. great. What I was <laughs> kind of wondering was, can I see another way, or is it for, because we're at the center of the station, Mm-hmm. All the centrifugal forces on the outside of us. Is there kind of like a dead space in the middle, like where there's anti-grav? Nope. This is this is fake ass okay. gravity. Uh, okay. Otherwise, you guys would be walking that. on the outside of the station 
instead like you'd be walking on the part of the station that faces mm-hmm. outward not the okay. floor gotcha where the outer part is the wall um okay. so what you can see though is that because this is the middle there's just a railing into emptiness right so there's a mm-hmm. big i'd say i don't know 20 meter gap between this side of the mm-hmm. the hub and the other side so theoretically you could just get up on the railing stand up and jump mm-hmm. grab the bottom of the next floor mm-hmm. and hoist yourself up that is a gotcha. possibility okay or you you know throw a rope up there mm-hmm. latch on something like that gotcha okay need a boost or how, how are we how going we, up over that boost? deb says Yeah, unless you want to walk through that. Not particularly. Okay. Um, She just sort of looks and goes, yeah, okay. All right. Whatever. Um, Yeah, I'll take a boost. Uh, uh, Liam will get into, like, a position to where, like, she can step up and grab. Give me a physical prowess roll. Okay. Oh boy, that is my well, did anyone else stat. based off of Bree's behavior in the previous episode as Dev? I don't really trust. Dev oh right no, now. that's a two with the one on my. Die. Oh on no. My die. <laughs> so, Deb steps up into your oh, into your Deb's hand, uh, mm-hmm. and reaches up and grabs the floor above you. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Compensating for your blunder, Deb stables stabilizes herself. And climbs up, <laughs> up and over the railing above you. Um, sh- should I go next and I'll have my yep. hand out to grab you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, is there anything I can do to help him out to make this smoother in case? I mean, you could try to, you could roll a physical prowess roll to try to steady yourself in case he's got, as I've much of a... Four. Yeah. Yeah. Give, give it a go. Or should I just like do a running leap? Just like I got this. Well, I, got a I would not do a running hey. leap because that's just going to take Woo. you out in the middle of the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want your character to die really side. quickly, that's a good way to do it. But <laughs> I got a six on my die. Okay, so hey. you did you, so great. You did an eight. Man, you're not strong. Why was I the one doing this? I mean, it, he, one boost. he just he just volunteered and nearly killed Deb. So no, you know, like I know you're right, and I just did. Damn so gender roles. You are, yeah, yeah. You just succumbed to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, you hoist yourself up and over, and at first you don't see Deb. I knew it. Um, I ju- what did I just say? But then, then you do. Uh, or at least you see Deb's foot. Fuck. Uh, there is a brown and gray slug-like creature oh. on the ground with uh, one boot jutting out from it. And as you see, the last bit of the like, gray slug creature just engulfs the last foot and slides it in. Um, okay, oh. so I'm gonna see that, and I'm gonna motion quietly for him to move the fuck out of the way so I can jump back down and get away. <laughs> it's it's hard to see. I mean, like, this is, like, this is... Yeah, I gotta leave. This is, like, full-on, like, one floor on top of the other. Um, uh, can I, like, stage whisper just like, a, move! <laughs> yeah, sure, you can stage whisper all you like. It's That's I not know. a role. You're free to I do know. that as... <laughs> no. I, I, I'm just trying not to be sus, you know? Just, like, fucking move. <laughs> Act like a slug. Hurry up. <laughs> and as soon as... I, I'm going to barely even wait for him to move, honestly. All I'm right. just going to try and, like, get out. Climb back down back again? We were. Yeah. Okay, uh, give me give me a physical prowess roll. Yeah. Okay. I'm not about to die. I'm going to help, help her. It. I don't need your help. Okay, you you sort of Damn. you sort of I jump over, <laughs> drop down, grab the thing, and then swing yourself in, uh, all while uh, all while Justin's like standing there, like sort oh, of. Oh, it's another six. 
amping himself up to try to go up there on his own. Like, he's, like, getting ready to do it. He's, like, like mentally preparing. And then you just come swinging back down again. Just, like, I'm gonna, like, grab him. Like, we can't... There's... Deb's dead. Deb's fucking dead. There's a thing. There's a slug. It's up there. It's not an option. Okay, so this is, like, bacteria, then. Okay. It, like, ate her. It... Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, okay. This, yeah, this is all... This is predatory bacteria. Okay. Okay. Um, what does that mean? How do we? <laughs> how the fuck are we getting out here? Um, was there any other way other than just going up that I was able to see on that observation? No. Observer yeah, not that you could okay. see. Uh, so while okay. you two are talking, Vembo and Rhino are slowly creeping their way down the steps. Uh, and you guys come to uh, essentially the the lowest level fairly quickly like you were able to sort of like do the sort of like almost slide down the railings uh each time um rad uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 super fucking tubular um <laughs> yeah. uh, cool squad over here <laughs> uh and you do get down and you are able to see that there is there is a fighter uh uh like component to this there is there are six uh loading tubes for uh six fighters underneath you um but all the all the computers are sort of uh blinking emergency at the moment so um give me give me a book smarts roll uh both of you but mostly michael <laughs> yeah uh. yeah that's fair <laughs> I don't suppose this has anything to do with navigation, does it? Nope, not this time. <laughs> I You're not think navigating so. your way out of danger. Ah, uh, dang. All right, see what we get. Oh, dang, dang. That's five. <laughs> so you got a five, Quinn, and then Michael did it message you? I don't see it. A little pop-up and move up. A little pride of the message. And... I can also roll it for you if it, if for whatever reason it didn't. I think that's a big uh, book smarts. It is. He's about as smart okay. as they come. Yeah. Really? Will you, will you give me a roll please? Yep. Six. There we go. Um, okay. 14. So, uh, you look at that and you're like, oh, okay, so I need to go to each of these and sort of cancel the emergency and then sp like sort of, uh, start the launch process, like the pre-flight process and all that. Uh, and while you're loading that up, you can kind of get into a suit and get ready. So you're just like, okay, cool. Uh, that's what you know you need to do. There are six of these screens blinking. Um, are you going to tell Vembo what you need to do? Yeah, of course. Okay. So both of you kind of know, and you know that like, okay, this is fairly simple. It's push a couple buttons. It's a mostly automated process. So each of you can kind of start down the line getting ships ready. And what you find is at the first two screens, those ships are gone. Mm -hmm. And the same is true at the second two screens. Uh, Thembo, however, your third screen, there is a fighter uh, there. Um, and it is ready to load up. But uh, Rhino does not find a fighter there. There's only one fighter of the six that can be piloted. Okay. Um, so I, I turn around and I see that Rhino has no luck and I beckon him over to this one. I'll come over. All right, we got one fighter, so. Do, uh, do I know these fighters? Uh, is there more than one seat? Nope, there's this is a this is a small this is a kind of fighter you launch when you're trying to hold off people until the big guns show up. So this is gotcha. like you're not not your elite. This it's an older it's about three generations back. Um and you're like, yeah, I mean this is the sort of thing that you have when you don't expect to get attacked. <laughs> is are the uh escape pods down here? You don't see any from where you are, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. Um, but you also, down here on this base level, 
Uh, you don't see any of the slug things. Oh. Nice. Uh, Fembo, you wanna you wanna do a little recon and see if we can find uh, escape pods? We might have to do this a little differently than we thought. Yeah. Might have to cover Let's... cover two escape pods. Yeah. Also, do you think they just like it better up there, or they don't want to be down here because people weren't down here? <clears throat> like... I don't know. It's it's it, it, like the ecosystem isn't, isn't different down here, right? It's not it's not like colder oh. down here. Nope, it's totally the same. I don't know. It might just... Is this, like, a place where, like, there would be no reason for people to be down here working during, um, just, like, a typical... I mean, you'd always have, like, station, at least right? somebody, you know, passing through, making, you know, making sure everything is fine. Mm -hmm. But you, you don't generally have somebody, like, manning the fighters at this point. Okay. And then down it? here, good. Down here is it um like just that's like what else is on this like bottom mm -hmm. layer? So there's there's some maintenance stuff. Uh, there's some storage. Um, you get some redundant systems like there are some sensors here and things like that. Um, the sorts of things that like you might need if you like hey if you need to launch your little squadron of fighters. Uh, it would be good to have, um, you know, some communications down here, some some sensors. So there, there's like a communications uh, panel here. Um, there's is some general one, readouts. Is this one dead or is... Can this one be... So that one certainly seems to be working as far as internal communications go. But as far as communicating outside, uh, that doesn't seem to be working. Um, I'm going to go over to it and try and uh, message the others. Okay. Um, what's your message? It's me. <laughs> Y'all safe. We're not the ones doing FNAF. Hello. <laughs> it's, it says, it's me. <laughs> Y'all safe. Question mark. Uh, uh, it's all all lowercase. Uh. Uh. That that. So, are you saying that or are you typing that? I type that. Okay. And uh, then I go. Oh wait, it's me. You know. <laughs> so that appears on your HUDs, and mm -hmm. it's actually kind of creepy. <laughs> um. Just those words appear with no identifier as to who it might be who is typing this out on your HUDs. So there's no ID tag that pops up with it. It's just, it's me. It's from a, oh, yeah. it's from a communications me. computer. It's me. Yeah. Y'all safe. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. It's me. Yeah. That's the message. Wait, Val? No, it's me. Oh, okay. uh, Dumbo. Yeah. And, and I'm hit, his words come through your headset, um, but you keep typing. <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to, I don't know if we can communicate back, but I'm just going to type. Do, we do talk. Uh, I'm going to say, no, we're not. Comms is a bust. Hey, come down here. No weird stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and then realizing how that sounds... <laughs> I send a semicolon followed by a parenthesis. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we sit here and we literally break down what Thembo says. Like, uh, do they mean that? No. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's like, fuck. Yeah. Let, let, let's go. Is, is pass clear? I mean, you guys can start uh, down. Uh, we have flashlights. Uh, do mm -hmm. we, ha we have what? I have access to like various like physical weapons, but I don't think they're gonna do much. I still have a I still have a a, a weapon, and then the med pack that I have on me. Right. What type yeah. of weapon do you have? It was whatever um security issue was for. Yeah, there's a, a rifle. There was a rifle. My, uh, uh, Rhino has a rifle. Um, mm -hmm. I think, uh, Rich, I think you have a a uh, a crowbar. Yeah, I had like yeah. like physical 
I know I had grabbed like various tools, a crowbar. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and I I just get the feeling that that's not gonna do much on these things. Mm -hmm. Funny feeling. Um. I wish we had our uh, the fire extinguisher. Um, but that's so not a I, uh, for yourself. There is none. Where am I? Do I get a response one? back from them? Uh, this this text on if it was clear going down. Oh yeah, you get lol. Probably not. What? <laughs> <laughs> there, right. Just a long <laughs> sigh that comes over calm. Uh -huh. Followed yeah. by, I mean, we got down here fine, but I don't know what's changed since then. Yeah. All right, let's just move. Yeah, let's move. Uh, you wanna? I'll keep an eye out. Uh, you keep an eye out behind us, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll cover down. six. Yeah. Okay, so you guys start to head down, and you um. Are you going fast or slow? A decent pace, I would. I would assume. I would we say want to move we're away. at moderate pace. Okay. Uh, not so fast that we don't see what's around we're, us. We're we're mall walking. We're, sure. We're sure. we're falling as quick as we can without we're mall walking. getting too distracted. Okay, so uh, we're gonna exit you guys for a moment and head back to the bottom. The fighter <laughs> has spun up, um, and Zembo, you have found. Uh, you you you've searched and found a sign uh that is right next to the communication computer that you were using uh that is pointing to um an escape pod okay let me go take a look at this escape pod okay uh while you're heading over there rhino um this uh you there's a flight suit there's a helmet are you are you getting ready uh yeah let me get the flight suit on Okay. Oh, right. No, I told the other two. I told the others to come down. They said shit's bad up there. I forget. Did you guys tell me if? Um... Yeah, you, they they didn't mention Dev at all. We didn't, yeah, we okay. didn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the three of them are coming yeah. down right now. <laughs> yeah, I was I was looking over your shoulder. You text really fucking weird. What do you mean? <laughs> Why did you make shit sound sexual? I mean, <laughs> what? That's like that's pretty funny. What did what? I say? You put a winky face. Oh, yeah, because I realized it sounded sexual. So I said <laughs> yeah. a winky face to be like, <laughs> did y'all see that? Um, I'm just trying to keep things lighthearted because uh, we all might die. No, I uh, uh, And I everyone that. else is dead. And I am, I don't feel great about it. <laughs> Anyways, I found an escape pod. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, am I in my flight suit yet? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's almost. Okay, just zip okay. it up. Just zip it. We <laughs> we get will you get it for me? Yeah, yeah. What's that? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, feels good. Yeah. So you're you're in your flight suit. You got a helmet ready to go. Um, the the escape pod is there. It looks good. It it's powered up. It's it's ready to rock and roll. Mm. Uh, could I do if it matters a sharp eye roll? I just want to kind of give a scan of like, is this like, like analog for this time? Like, you know, obviously it's not analog, but relatively, is it analog compared to what we use now? Thinking if that's a reason that these creatures aren't down here. Oh, like, is this lower tech than what you, what you've yeah, got normally? Like, but... No, yeah, not really. Yeah, yeah. Not really. Okay. Um, the fighters are older because, like, they don't really need them. You, you would mm -hmm. guess they could probably repurpose some fighters that, like, got decommissioned from an actual, like, deep mm -hmm. space starship. And we're like, well, yeah, we'll throw them on the, the vacation ship as, <laughs> as a defense. We'll sell them off to those guys for cheap. Um, we need the tax write-off, guys. Right, exactly. Uh, Can I find any more fire, fire extinguishers? Extinguishers. Nope. You don't find any more Damn fire it. extinguishers. Fire yeah. establishers. Uh, what about a fire establishers? Uh, They're a flamethrower down here. You don't, you don't see one uh, uh, in a first sort of sweep of the lower right. the lower decks. No, you don't. <laughs> wow, this place is so unsafe. <laughs> I know. Can't believe there's no flamethrowers. Yep. Uh, now, up above you, four levels above you, as the other two are sort of scooting down a stairway uh you guys see in front of you three of the slug creatures 
just sort of around the next entrance to the stairway. We haven't figured out what attracts them yet, right? No. Hmm. We've only seen movement from noise, but we don't know anything else other than that on their actual attack pattern or anything. Or if it's proximity or out, anything like correct? that. What was that, Rachel? There's only the one way out. Otherwise, we're trapped. I mean, you could go over the railing, uh, or you could we, look around. Yeah, jump. Uh, yeah, can I look around? Sure, give Observation? me... Yeah, give me a cunning. Uh, so I get one because I'm sharp-eyed. <laughs> uh... are, are we all sharp-eyed? No. I don't... I, don't know. <laughs> I can tell you... So it, no. It's plus one to all observation rolls, so I just add one, correct? Yes. Okay. There should be, a, like, an antithesis to sharp-eyed, which is called, like, glazed over. Sure, yeah. right? Oh like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zoned out, maybe, is the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's oh, eight. Oh, no. I've eight. been having such good rolls. Oh, and it's a one! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Would... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, well, go ahead, Justin. I'll tell you what. I was going to ask, could I also make an observation? If you like. Here? Yeah, if you're looking around. Sure. Okay. That was that was a uh, cunning again? Yes. No. Observation okay. under cunning. Yeah. Okay. Five plus one. That's uh, 17. Okay. So, uh, Kaylee looks around <laughs> and doesn't really see anything, but, um, but uh, Liam looks to the left and actually sees in the outer wall, the sort of the wall that's on the outside of the whole thing, uh, mm -hmm. there is uh, an access door um, that uh, is sealed uh, that you could probably use. It's a maintenance hatch, so you could probably either go up or down with it. Mm-hmm. You look stressed. I don't Should like I this. <laughs> I don't like this either. But what are our options? We can either um, jump over where you might fall, or well, we, we go through this and hope we don't die in the process. So we can do this. Um, I can unclip un unclip the strap on this, cl uh, clip it around the one the bottom rail, and we can use that to kind of support us as we go down to the next level. Or we can go in there, or we can go that way. Yeah, that's literally what... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, am I familiar with... Yeah, but Kaylee didn't know. Kaylee was unaware. Um, it, am I familiar with these maintenance hatches? Oh, yeah. In fact, you're very comfortable with them. Uh, would I know what the essentially kind of... A rough idea of what the map would be and how to get through? Yeah, I mean, for you, like, seeing yeah. this maintenance hatch, you're like, oh, yeah, there's going to be ladder inside. There's going to be, like, a little mm -hmm. tunnel you... It's like a, a Jeffrey's tube in in mm -hmm. Star Trek, but um, you're like gonna, you know, sort of sort of shimmy crawl through to a ladder and then work your way up a ladder or down a ladder. And in fact, the ladders are such that you just put your like, you grab it, you put your feet on the outside of the ladder, and you slide right on down. Um, but yeah, they're they're like you know they're they're cramped quarters, but you figure you're like oh I can get anywhere in a maintenance tube. Mm -hmm. So. I'm real comfortable in that maintenance tube. Um, but it's going to probably be more or less up and down. If that mm. thing's in there, we're toast. But uh, I can navigate us through it, so. Okay. Um, I guess let's look. If not, if there, like I said, we can sling around on the bottom rail and just jump down to the next one. We just might be Have down a right. things moved? While we've been discussing this? No. No. So it's not... So it's possibly not heat? Proximity, maybe? We're relatively close, but maybe... I don't know. Uh, yeah, we can take a look real quick and see if we see anything, but it's gonna probably... I have the flashlight, but it's gonna probably be real dark. 
Rachel, you're getting a little quiet, so it was kind of hard. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. I know. I personally was speaking quietly. I just raised <laughs> well, my I, thing. I, I understand. Um, because high stakes. Yeah. This yep. is what you do, Joshua. No. Um, <laughs> so uh, we can look, but it is possible that we won't see anything. I've got a flashlight, um, but it, it's going to probably be real dark unless some sort of emergency light system has turned on. Let's just, let's look and see. Um. Okay. All right, so you guys uh, go over to that, pop it open, and you don't see anything right away. Back down to the base. Uh, Michael, what is, what's Rhino going to do? Um, the spinning up of the fighter, it's not loud, is it? No, I mean, you it's hear a, a hum from down there, there but, go. like, it's, it's, it's pretty quiet. Like, you, you kind of know that, like, at this point, you can hear the hum from down there, you see the readout. This thing's ready to, uh, to rock and roll. Uh, you know what? I'll uh, I'll walk to the center and see if I can see them up above. Okay, so the center does have sort of like a gantry way that lets you cross it, uh, but it's also like there's sort of a bowl bottom to this thing that like people don't just sort of walk out on it. So you, you can walk out onto the um. Mm -hmm. Uh, onto the sort of like walkway or whatever that crosses the mm -hmm. middle um, and you look around and things are pretty dark uh, it's hard to kind of see you do see a little bit of light about four levels up but then it's gone oh okay I'll, I'll go back to them though uh, I think uh, in GSL uh, I think uh, there are a few levels up um you think there's any way we could help them out or like i don't know do i feel you, bad with my thumb up my ass do you think you might be able to figure out how to get this thing um working on a uh not just on the the sh i'm pointing at the communication mm. uh center. Oh, okay uh get this to contact the fleet at all because I know I, I can't. I absolutely cannot. <laughs> I, I can give it a shot. Let's, let's see what its capabilities are. See if sure. we can modify it somehow. Give us a book smarts roll, Michael. I'll help out by being very Bang. quiet. <laughs> okay. Oh, good but bad? Um... You guys might actually be, like, at this point, like, beyond the, um, <laughs> beyond the, the, the chance, maybe, of, of your afflictions happening, um, uh, cause, like, Quinn has one point, uh, Thank Michael you. now has two, Rachel has one, Justin has one, um, for the negatives, like, for the positives, they, you guys might, but unless there's, like, a lot more roles here, uh, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know that uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll be tagging your afflictions, but um, so what you figure out, Michael, is that everything is working on this side, but the communications dishes are either disconnected or damaged. Um, so there's nothing really to do inside of the station, uh, unless some major, like. Uh, link inside the station is disconnected and, and needs to be repaired. But whatever it is, it's a physical problem. Okay. So you're saying someone needs to put on a suit and go out on the outside of the station and just kind of wiggle the antenna around? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta move them rabbit ears. <laughs> So it's a, it's along those lines, yeah. I mean, if if, if you want to try to spacewalk, we could look for something to do that. I, I. They were though. All a lot of these slugs were on the outside of the ship. I was going to say I don't. <laughs> I. If I'm if I'm gonna die, I'd like to do it out there on a spacewalk, but. I prefer not to die. You know. Does that make yeah, sense? Of course. Yeah. No. Yeah. Choice um, one, don't die. Choice two, <laughs> die on a spacewalk. That's it. <laughs> Just going on a spacewalk. Like, that's one of the worst ways to die, too. 
<laughs> just going on a star yes. stroll. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, while you two were discussing that, uh, the other two are looking in the maintenance tube, and it's a good three meter crawl mm-hmm. horizontally to the vertical ladder. Oh, we can't. So we can't even see. Okay. Up and down. Mm. And turning oh, around is gonna be real tough. Yeah. Uh, or we hop over and pray that there's not any more. I mean, we can lean over and look down. Uh, well, there's an access way to get to the next stairwell, so. So it's like we're an open railing, and then it's an access stair down to the next set of railings going around. Right. All right. I'm I'm gonna lean over and look. See if I can look down to the next. Well, the problem is, is that when you turn around from looking into the maintenance tube, the slugs have moved. I knew it. I've... <laughs> you just said like a strike of fear into my heart. <laughs> there, uh, there is Almost. one that is now directly between you and the railing behind you. Um, there is one now that is directly between you and the stairs going up. And there is one between you and the stairs going down. So... We go through the maintenance. Yeah. Now. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, I grab like a little like, it's not going to do much, but some sort of like uh, one of my tools or something that I could like, mm-hmm. I have that even when I'm doing a little like uh, army crawl or whatever it sure. is through, I can, have I have access to hit like a wrench or something. Yeah. Or like Remember, a Remember you got stabbing. Right. Stabbing. You right. Screwdriver sounds good. Sure. Um, <laughs> I've thought about this before. And uh, I'll take the lead, I guess, because I have the flashlight. Uh, so I might honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm a pro. I put the flashlight in my mouth. I've got the uh, screwdriver in my hand. I've done this a billion times. Sure. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> all right. So you're going first then. Yeah. Okay. Uh- <laughs> Do you not want me to go first? No, Would you no, like I'm not. I'm not going to go first because I have a sit. I have a Shut up! Where are you being stopping. weird? Were you no. being weird? No, he's I'm, not. I'm he's wonder- not being weird. No, I'm just. I'm just wondering if you have like one of the L-shaped flashlights or if it's just a straight pole flashlight. I feel like you're being weird. Now he might be uh... weird. I I thought it was about his claustrophobia. But now oh, it's apparently claustro- about. Wait, am I, cla- Wait, am I claustrophobic? Uh, it's, no, it's a, it's about to be about claustrophobia. No, I was gonna take claustrophobia, and then I changed my mind. But it was something I had considered. But I do have a question, Josh. Mm-hmm. I I don't want it to be like a meta gaming thing, but um, because I want to ask you on it. Whenever I was making my first aid kit in in um, in security. I don't know if Liam would have put a um, a couple of glow sticks in there. Sure. Yeah. Or totally would there would have been, been. Yep. You have okay. glow sticks. Okay. Okay. I, I was wanted to ask you on that before I said. Oh. Oh. By the way, I have glow sticks. Also, by oh. the way, that is not that is an improper use of the term. Whenever you people under thirty misuse the term whenever all the fucking time, you meant you when, next? not Sorry. whenever. <laughs> when I put the <laughs> kit together. Whenever uh, is no, an yeah. indeterminate term. Yeah, because <laughs> because that, yeah, that's cause... grammar. <laughs> but you people we, use it all the time that way. As I yeah, discussed we're, at we're, the very like, beginning. Because we need <laughs> it Joshua, in an I feel like you're way. generalizing. Joshua, I feel like you're generalizing. Nope. I said. No, I, I mean, Nope. I, I said look, what I that said. Was addressed at me. <laughs> that was addressed at me specifically. And in my defense, I am being indeterminate about it because I'm not sure. Whenever I put on these happened. shoes this morning. Exactly. Uh, could have been any time between eight and nine. Yeah. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Uh-huh. You get what I'm saying? Then yeah. it works. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I mean. Uh, are you going to offer to Yeah, I'm, pa- I'm going to pass on? up a glow stick. I'm gonna shake my head no because we don't know if they're light sensitive. No. Okay. So you're gonna keep a flashlight in least... your mouth, but you're not gonna put on a glow stick. The flashlight's uh, turned yeah, off. Yeah, I can turn off the flashlight. I can okay. turn it on and off. So you're gonna yeah. turn oh, off the flashlight it's in your mouth. and crawl. Look, we don't know how talented Kaylee. Is. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it the kind with of like a kind of button on the butt of she it? She can use her tongue to do tongue. that. Oh, I could take my other hand and turn it off, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess there's that. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, you're crawling with that one. Yeah. Now can we clip it? 
<laughs> All right. I have two hands. Well, yeah. Okay, fine. If that's how you want to play the game, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> um, game breaking. God. Uh. <laughs> So yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. So so Kaylee starts crawling in. I'm assuming with the flashlight off then. Um. No, I want it on initially, and my feelings are if we see something and if it seems light sensitive, I can just quickly flash it off. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so is it a uh, white light or is it a red light? It's it's white. Okay, sometimes maintenance and things are red. That's uh, true, but you don't, you don't have a maintenance eyes. flashlight. <laughs> is it the kind of flashlight where, where you press it. it a second time and it turns colors? No. Can you press <laughs> it a second time light. and it starts blinking? No. That's, no, it's, yeah. it's, 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 no, I don't simple, want it. I wanted a normal flashlight. Simple on and off. <laughs> That's all. Simple on and I off. I actually prefer it to be a normal flashlight if it's not a red flashlight, because if I go to turn it off quickly... And right, it and it just starts blinking, disco spinning <laughs> and like... <laughs> Saying that would be unfortunate. Yeah. Nothing's worse than like sitting on the bed in your parents' room with like four different flashlights all going off. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So Kaylee, you go in first, and you're not army crawling exactly. You're like a, a, a hands, uh, elbows and knees. Like okay. it's um, it's not. You're not on your belly, but you're like you know, yeah. crawling, crawling. So we do still have room to move our arms yeah. if need be. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then, we'll... yeah, go ahead, Justin. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I'll say I was, I'll get in behind her and close the door behind. Okay. Yes, please. And latch it. Cool. That could fuck you us, do... but I'd rather that than getting blindsided. Yeah. Um, and can I, the entire time, just try and keep an eye out, like an oh, extra sure. observant eye out for this? Yeah, you got. I mean, there's not many places to look, so yes, you are keeping an eye out. Uh, down below, what? Uh. While you guys are waiting for your companions and finding out that you can't really fix the communications, what are you guys doing? That's that's why you're called European. I just never got it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because I'm I'm a big fan of Europa, so I'm you guys European. hear yeah, the sound bad. of bending metal above you. Oh. Oh. oh, that can't be good. Oh. You want to? Should we go take a peek? Yeah. Yeah, we should go, go okay. take a peek. All right. Um, where, where are you guys? Where are you guys going to go take a peek? Go to where we where? heard the sound from. I mean, it's straight above you. It is like oh, coming like, from like okay. way oh. like above, like in the middle of the the uh the the tube, the the cylinder. Okay, I I messaged the other other three technically because mm -hmm. I still sure. Mm -hmm. Don't know. And I'm like, you guys almost here. We have to dash soon. I I, I respond back, uh, in maintenance tube. Should be down soon. ETA, one minute, two minute. Uh, Kaylee, three. ETA. Oh, what's my rough ETA? You'd say three I'm minutes. So You'd say three minutes. Okay. Uh, three minutes-ish. Uh, I've realized just out of game a terrible, terrible thing that I don't. We don't know if this bacteria is intelligent. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't know anything. Like yes. I know. Well, I'm concerned that they have access to these messages. Yeah, mm. you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I. It has just occurred. <laughs> <laughs> um, I go. Okay, we're waiting three minutes. Then after that, we're going to jet because. Something's going to smash in through here. Well, Is what it, you we see what? anything? Yeah. So when you <laughs> look <laughs> up into the darkness, what you actually start to see is a very faint light, almost like a slight green blue glow. Oh. Um, that is. It takes you a moment to kind of recognize it, but it is as if there's some sort of rope dangling across the giant opening oh, above. No. We um, see that? No, no, no. no we're in a maintenance the other, the other people do. They see that. Vembo and Rhino look up, and it's as if there's some, like, it's almost as if somebody strung a very faint luminescent line across, and it's sort of swaying back and forth, maybe ten floors up. Um, but that's without shining your lights up there. 
Is this look familiar? No. I'm, I'm going to point a flashlight at it. Okay. Oh, so w- oh. when you do... Uh, no, I, I don't, like, I don't do that. I look at Rhino and I say that. Sorry, for <laughs> clarification. <laughs> for clarification, uh-huh. I s- don't move. I turn to Rhino and I say that and wait for his approval. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, now I do it. <laughs> okay. So the, the the slight blue glow just disappears in the brightness of your flashlight. But what you see is what appears to be individual blobs melding together into a long strand that's hanging from one railing to the next across one of the floors and it's just sort of slowly swinging but the metal underneath it like the railings underneath it is bending under the weight of the of the heavy uh sort of shining black and gray green flesh that this is like the weird like leechy things that oh yeah seeing. they've all linked together now into like sort of a a flesh tube <laughs> Um, <laughs> another flesh another tube. Flesh tube. <laughs> Sorry, folks. <laughs> um, but this is this is like a big flesh rope. Let's say uh, that's, that's okay. So of... we can assume it's not hollow. Then got it. Yeah, there Josh. it is. Yeah, yes. you're saying this is a flesh tube that it emits light. A flesh rope that emits light. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, I'm not saying that. That may be true, <laughs> but I'm not saying it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Rhino's just like, I got a thing I gotta try. <laughs> I think I know it's weakness. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, this thing is like maybe 10 floors up, but it is lowering. I look at, at Rhino again. Should I try talking to it? Not with you. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I hold up. I hold up the um, fire extinguisher. <laughs> it's too. I would. Mean, uh, when it gets closer, maybe. When it gets closer. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> I want to go. Um. I don't know how good of an idea this is, but it's a Dumbo idea. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go a little ways and it's away valid, from baby. this. <laughs> um, so technically, it's possible to explode a fire extinguisher. Sure. What I want to do is beat it up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> that way, when I throw it, maybe it will be beaten up just enough <laughs> for it to explode on the next impact. Okay. This sounds like a great idea. Uh, um, so I... I go back, like, so I'm not, like, immediately out there, and Rhino probably hears, like, the sound of clanging metal as I start, like, kicking and hitting this fire extinguisher. Yeah, uh... Hebo, Hebo, I have a gun! (laughs) I stopped. (laughs) You... The guns didn't work! I thought you wanted to throw the fire extinguisher and then shoot the fire extinguisher. Oh, yeah, we could do that, too! So, on that line... We cut <laughs> to the maintenance tube. <laughs> uh, and Kaylee, I you, look you, at the time. I'm scared. You cut. They you, hear. A, they hear a faint dinging. Right. Yeah. Uh, you. <laughs> you come to the uh, the ladder, mm-hmm. and uh, you look down, and it is completely clear down. Okay. Uh, okay. So what I would like to do is I want to climb on motion for him to climb, climb down a little bit, motion for him to climb down a little bit. And then I want to drop the ladder. What do you mean you want to drop like, the ladder? And, and like how you said that we can just like slide down. Oh, you can down. slide right yeah. down. Um, yeah. Okay. So Justin, hold on before you do anything. What you yeah. see is you see Kaylee get on. Mm-hmm. Um, no, and having checked, I don't like that. having checked that it's clear down below, yeah. but not having checked above no! after I, I said that it was clear below. No! Mm-hmm. Um, 
You see I, Kaylee yeah. take one step and then just she's gone as something gray, black, and brown just drops from above. You gave me nothing! I had you, no <laughs> You did not look up. You chose not to look up. I specifically said it was clear below, and I was waiting for you to be like, what yeah, about above? I'm not going to say anything. because I said earlier that I had that super observant look. <laughs> you were looking forward. You weren't looking up or down. You just look forward and down. You look up first. <laughs> this, is death, yeah, this is why your feel. maintenance. This is why like maintenance it's in medical and not. I have uh, no front shot line. at escaping. It's immediate death. I'm, I mean, the thing basically fills the tube and hits you. You're not immediately ah. dead. What you experience is akin to being hit with a baseball bat about fifty times as you oh. collapse down this ladder, banging your head oh. on it over and over again as this thing also starts to consume your hair oh, oh. and skin as you fall and collapse, oh. breaking both of your legs at the bottom. So it's not immediate. And before oh. you die, you see a little message pop up <laughs> Shut the in fuck your up. pod <laughs> that says, heard that, you okay? Yeah. Question mark. <laughs> yes, that is 100%. Kaylee's last <laughs> sight before darkness takes her. Worst death! This is the worst one! <laughs> <laughs> um, so dumb! I was so... Dumb. This is akin to when I killed Justin, I think. <laughs> if not dumber. <laughs> <laughs> so, Justin... <laughs> Liam oh. has just watched Kaylee disappear down the tube. Yeah. What's um what's going on with him? <laughs> well, it's gonna pee a little. Uh-huh. Um, uh, um yeah, yeah. he uh he is going to call on comms down, clear the tube, and then he's gonna try and if he can peek up uh-huh with the rifle sure there's nothing above you okay like, now like, yeah clear now. The tube now i am coming down <laughs> and then he's gonna start sliding but like just make sure he can he's gonna control his side okay wait but he's what? gonna keep watching up so you you go you down just watched yeah i think fall past you didn't you yeah it's and it's all the way down your controlled Kaylee. slide passes rung after rung of bloody mm -hmm. oh. uh, metal mm -hmm. um, as you as you see how Kaylee died. Mm -hmm. um, uh, down below, um, the fighter's screen starts blinking yellow. What does that mean? Such a navigator question. <laughs> uh, Rhino, if if are you gonna take a look at it? Oh no, Michael's just frozen. He's not just like oh. he's not just like very <laughs> stoic. He's no, actually like, frozen. I was like, I was really I was like stoic right now. Yeah, he's just kind of. <laughs> Justin, I want to remind you, I took the flashlight with me in my death. I know, I have I have glow sticks, and then That's there was, true. like, a little light at the end of the gun. Mm -hmm. That's true. He's fine. Uh, we'll see if Michael <laughs> comes back. Um, but, uh, alright. We'll, I guess we'll, re <laughs> we'll return back to uh, to Justin. Huh? Um, hmm? uh, oh, uh, here we go. Oh, yep. no! Oh, we're mobile. Oh, no! We're mobile. Power went out. Oh, wow. Oh, no. We had just the most stoic view of you for like minutes. So I started talking to you and describing a situation, and you're just sitting there, glasses on. I was <laughs> like, are, are, it, so is Rhino going to do exactly. anything? And you just got like this, like very. <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh, uh, Rhino? <laughs> hey, Rhino. You want to make it that decision yet? Or... <laughs> so, uh, so 
uh, basically, uh, Justin is heading down the tube. But down below, uh, the fighter's screen, the little screen above where you would go down, starts blinking yellow. Okay. Do I, do I know what that means? Uh, if you go over and check it, you should be able to figure it out. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, so what you find out is that um, something is actually starting to drain power from the fighter. So it was at 100% and it is starting to um, starting to drop uh, like a percentage point a second. What is that percentage of? Uh, yeah, of, of, of system power. So basically... Like if that thing drops to zero, your your the ship doesn't go. And you said a percentage a second. Yeah, so you got like a minute and a half before this thing is empty. Okay. Uh, do you tell me what that is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, uh, hey, okay. we're on a uh, we're on a time crunch. We got okay. Well, what seconds. what we should do then is you get in the fighter, get it separated from the ship. Once they get down here, we'll all get in the escape pod and launch it. Because you're going in the fighter anyways. There's no reason for you to wait here. Okay, I'll uh, I'll do that and I'll cover you best I can out there. All right. Okay. Um. So you pop I'll down. Give that a hug. Okay. <laughs> Big old hug. Hug. And then you hear a thud. Hug. <laughs> yeah, and then you and, hear. And that's yeah. when I type the yeah. message. Right, right. That's the that's the moment. So so Rhino's getting into the fighter uh, when you hear a thud, and you just uh, you also see uh, Michael on your screen. Like I heard that art is everything okay, uh, or whatever whatever the message was. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you slide down in there, and you can see somebody has has like run a command to divert power from this fighter to elsewhere on the station. If I go out and I look at the, like, little whoopy mm -hmm. thing, does it look like there's, like, electricity in it? <laughs> I'm sorry. There's that... power shooting through it. <laughs> oh, you goofy mean goofy. the, 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 yeah. uh, the flesh glow. Yeah, um, and, the, and, the, and the flesh rope. You said uh, it was glowing. It's glowing. It doesn't look like it's covered. It's not like a Tesla thing where it's, like, light, okay. lightning is covering it. Um... <laughs> But maybe, okay. but this is actually like, Michael, you look at this and you're like, S someone is doing this. And probably not maliciously. Like, there's probably yeah, someone yeah. out there who's like, shit, we need power. Uh, is there a way for in here to figure out where the power is being drawn to? No, it's not. Like, the ship probably doesn't have those capabilities to, to make that kind of determination. Okay. Um, I'll close the hatch coming in here uh i'll do a quick scan around to make sure i yep. ain't got any passengers you don't see anything um and the like as you're fully powered on the like surface sensors don't indicate that there's anything there i'll start i'll start takeoff process okay that takes a couple of seconds but you'll be disconnected in just a moment uh justin you slide down and you see at the bottom of your tube uh mm -hmm. sort of a writhing mass um I am going to try and go, as I'm going down, I want to say, I guess, the level before the bottom, so the second level, mm -hmm. I'm going to look down that uh, access corridor, uh -huh. that panel, mm -hmm. and see, is there anything down that way? Nope, nothing there. Um, I am going to message back on comms, is the second uh, level clear? I'll go take a peek. Okay. Uh, it's not clear, clear, um, but, like, the slugs all seem to be moving up. Um, okay, uh, kind of. The slugs are going up away from the down, um, because they're making a weird flesh thread, so, and then I write IG for, I guess, because, again, everything's lowercase. Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, he is gonna try and try and go out that access panel and see if he can get down there. 
Okay, the last thing you hear before you leave the access panel is just a, a low gurgle um, and oh. and moan, sort of a sort of an unconscious moan and gurgle um, from behind you. Uh, and then you're out, mm -hmm. and you do you see the slugs, and they're not very far from you. They're they're only a few feet away. Ooh, uh, um, and they, but they are moving slowly towards the staircase that goes up. Alternatively, okay. the giant flesh rope is lower than it was before, and you can kind of see it swinging in the middle of the big open space, and you can hear metal creaking and bending mm -hmm. above you. I am going to Don't do quick it quickly run down uh -huh. or get out and try and get down okay you do you're able to sort of hop skip and jump okay. your way down and you find Thembo below uh and Thembo, you see um liam come down but liam is completely alone covered in blood i just kind of nod <laughs> gate pod is that way um the reno's in the thing the pew pew um so we'll get in there we'll launch that um do you want me to throw this and try and make it go boom by those guys or should we try to sneak out of here undetected let's just, let's just sneak out okay we go to the, the skate pod okay as you're doing Ryan's that the cannon so we're good you start hearing splat 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 and from above just pieces of this thing are dripping off of it and splatting onto like the walkways and the like the curved metal below. It's not really going near you yet because you're off to the sides. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, it's like dripping off the rope. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and so uh, you guys make your way to the um, uh, escape pod. to the escape pod. You get inside. You start the process. Um, and then you just hear. Boom! And, like, everything kind of shakes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm but, sure we have a good seal. Yeah, uh, every, you guys are able to, able to launch, and you do. Um, but it's slow. You don't launch as quickly as you think you should. Like, you don't mm -hmm. feel that big jolt. You just feel sort of like mm -hmm. a... Like a um, okay. Just like a very light push away. Like a push. Uh, Michael, uh, Rhino sees the escape pod kind of push away. Um, it's connected somehow to the station with very thin tendrils. It's not like a big glob on it, but there's almost like spider webs that are stretching mm. around this thing. Am I off the ship now? You are I off mean... the ship and, and you have launched and you are flying around the bottom. The bottom doesn't seem to be covered with anything big, but then again, you also looked at that thing and didn't think it was covered with anything. Uh, but now you see that it very mm -hmm. fine sort of tendrils, web-like things are connecting it to it. They're not stopping it yet, but they're certainly like stretching out. Uh, what kind of weapons do I have access to on this thing? You've got, uh, you've got lasers. Um, and you have a couple of missiles. Okay. Uh, I will, I'll try to position myself. Um, first priority is my safety. I don't want to get too close to any uh -huh. creature on the, but I want to perpendicular shoot lasers at the spider webs. Try to sure. cut them free. Yeah. Give me, uh, so in this case, because so much of this is, is math stuff. Just give me a book smarts roll. Uh, will you roll for me? Because I don't yes, have... Ab oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, uh, six. Boom, 17. Ooh, so uh, you you execute a heck of a maneuver um, firing at that stuff. Uh, and you, you burn away most of it. Uh, there's a couple of tendrils, but you're pretty sure that, like... If they fire their rockets, like their little booster, they should be able to get away um, from from the station. Um, so uh, you both have like communications now, 
So you okay. could could just talk to each other. I, I was about to ask, do we ha- do we have established comms between ships? You have it between your ships. Okay. Uh, I'm Rhino is just not. I was gonna do this, whether you uh, uh just to test it out. He's gonna calm. Full send it. Full send it, boys. Get out of here. Now's your shot. Okay. Um. Uh. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> I ask. Um. And then there's a good minute where I go. Liam. <laughs> <laughs> we were given were we given basic training on escape pods i mean there's at least enough to know you know enough to like yeah, see where the booster yeah the the booster is so you just like you flip open a thing and you you throttle slap up. a yeah slap a giant throttle red up button and fi- throttle up and fire just throttle and fire um so you do you fire that and the the threads you actually watch uh michael as those threads Stay with it much longer than you thought, but eventually they do snap. Um, and as soon as they do, that arm breaks through the side of the station um, and slaps not actually into the the life support, or into the escape pod, but into pieces of metal that just fill the area around it um, and send metal chunks flying off in every direction. Uh, so, Michael, I'm going to do another roll for you uh, for evasive maneuvers. God. 21. Be the best Jesus. goddamn pilot. <laughs> uh, okay. And so you do. You you manage to uh, to avoid all of it. Um, but they don't. Uh, <gasps> and, uh, yeah. from the outside, what you see is, uh, a white, um, jet sort of shooting out of the escape pod, um, for about 20 seconds. And that jet spins the escape pod at first it starts slow and then the thing just starts spinning and spinning and spinning inside what you all experience is uh a jolt um and then darkness and flashing red lights uh an alarm and then you feel the floor underneath you tilt And then tilt further until you basically slide down to one side. And then it tilts up and around. And then around and around until um, it is spinning at such a speed that... um, What is... Should have gone on the spacewalk! (laughs) Uh, What is Uh. left of uh, the two uh, people inside is, is, is... pretty brutal um the last thing that that either of you really knows is is uh the the uh, as almost a sense of free falling um through space um oh actually that's not so bad until not you're so bad. yeah <laughs> until, and then yeah. on our huds gotcha Lol. <laughs> yeah in darkness in an enclosed space uh yep um rhino on the other hand extinguisher never went off yeah, the never extinguisher went. never went and off. Chekhov's extinguisher. Yep. I gotta have one in, in every one now. Uh, is there an extinguisher in your escape pod with you? Oh, I definitely brought it with me. Oh yeah, it came oh, with. So, oh my god, that's worse. That's bouncing around with us. It's already yep. the, like the nozzle oh, yeah, probably popped off. Yeah. Jesus, Rhino, we didn't even like you strap feel... in or anything before. No. You feel the falling, and then suddenly. Yeah. And then there's actually. So inside. let me ask this question: Did either did either of you strap in? Nope. I thought about yeah. it, but no, honestly, to probably full send it. Uh huh. Probably Quit. would have, but like I said, with the way the situation was, probably not. More than I mean, likely not. it's totally fine if you did, because the G forces will kill you. But yeah. <laughs> I I think that's that's what it is, because I think. Pretty much what happens is is them like 
knows how to fire off an sure. escape pod. Mm-hmm. But they were like sitting in Buckley and were like, launch us. Because that's how they're used to doing things. They don't do things. They're sure. too dumb to do things. All right. So instead of being battered around, the G forces of spinning at that speed just kill you both. Um, I was battered around. <laughs> so you I didn't did, strap. You didn't strap no, in. I did not. So, no. okay, so that's even darker because basically yeah. what, like, Vembo has to endure G-forces while watching Liam just be battered to death as he's <laughs> just bounced around on the inside of the spaceship. As I, as, as I see it, it's, it's about to go bad before I can stop thinking. I send one last message to Rhino and I'm like, I think this is it, bud. <laughs> oh. And that's it. And that, that is it. And Rhino, you are able to get out of reach of this thing. Um, and you are able to uh, sort of throw on your afterburners and uh, and fly away. Um, and after, after a few hours of flying at, at you know, uh, relatively low speeds as far as uh, the universe is concerned... You are able to pick up a uh, an available signal and communicate uh, that there is an emergency, uh, that serial station is down, and that an alien life form has has caused hundreds of casualties. Um, it's always Michael. I have uh, yeah. I was about to say. It, I think this is a three for three <laughs> for Michael. <laughs> No, I died. I he died, died in the mall. Times ago, he died in the mall. Oh, yeah, okay. he died yeah. as himself. Yeah. Um, yeah, also... it counts as two. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was just Michael that died, not a, uh, not Donnie. Oh yeah, my character's fine. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's the end of our uh, the end of shore leave. Um, oh. Which uh, thank you all for playing. Thank you all for watching. So. You might think, we're done with this setting. We're not done with this setting. Uh, In a few weeks, once we get... So we have a couple of announcements. One, we will be returning to weekly shows at least on Tuesday nights. I haven't gotten confirmation for Monday night yet. But uh, as Tuesday night group, we will be returning to weekly shows uh, in a few weeks. And this group will be heading to Kansas uh, to, to explore... Uh, the Slumpo's uh, Pizzeria um, after the tragic events of 2022 um, that uh, that none of them will know about until they start to explore Slumpo's Pizzeria. And then we will return to Serial Station in a few weeks on Monday nights uh, as the uh the fine people from monday night will yes the (laughs) cleanup crew um the the space marines will show up (laughs) um but yeah uh so we will return here to serial station in a few weeks on monday night uh to see what they can find um (laughs) and who knows how far into the future the uh the adventure will take place uh so um michael morris where can people find you hey uh you can find me at my website uh michaelcmorris.com uh has a bunch of my voiceover things and my on-camera stuff and it's just my acting website uh you can find me on the podcast app um reading you to sleep uh i read uh white fang um thumbelina and my father's dragon um, and, uh, you can find me Bards and Bourbon on Apon Plays. we got a few episodes up there on the, uh, was it allportsopennetwork.com? Yes. Allportsopen.com, uh, yep. And you can find me here on Tuesdays, playing the worst days. Yep. Uh, Quinn, where can people find you? Yeah, you can find me <laughs> most Wednesday nights, uh, uh, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time over at twitch.tv slash part-time adventurers. Um, I think it's part-time adventurers. Is it PT It's PT Adventurers. <laughs> at that one. <laughs> I'll put the link down or yep. something. Um, 
I say most Wednesdays because we did have to miss the past couple of weeks. Um, mm. So you can also follow me um, at indecisive underscore Quinn, but Quinn is spelled K-W-I-N. Um, and if we are streaming, I'll post something on there. <laughs> if I don't post something on there, we're probably not streaming. Um, mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we're still in a college town about to throw a party, but there's Illithids. Come check it out. Uh, super fun. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> <laughs> like you do <laughs> uh rachel uh if you've recovered from your horrifying death where can people find you terrible um you can find me here every tuesday night um and you can find me on my website rachel-max.com to see work that i'm gonna be in work that i've been in uh you can find me on uh the anchor fm app i can send the link mm. if you want yeah Josh. throw that in there um uh, I am, because I was given a link. I haven't listened to it myself yet when this came out. So, um, <laughs> Might be <laughs> terrible. Be I don't I know. I hope it sounds good. <laughs> I hope it sounds great. Uh, it is a uh, uh, a show called Eight Ways to Collect. It's a okay. little, yeah, it's a little like a radio thing. I think it's cool. I don't remember. I recorded it a while ago. I got to be real. <laughs> um, <laughs> But definitely check it out, guys. But definitely check no, it definitely out. You'll love it. Out. It was fun. It was fun to do. It's great. I don't know. Listen to it. It's great. Um, and if you live on Long Island, come see me do Shakespeare um, at the Vanderbilt Museum, Henry V. Oh. There will be stage com. Yeah. Who are you in Henry V? Combat. I am Alice, which, fun French fact, person, Alice right? speaks exclusively French. And oh, I don't right. speak French. <laughs> Right. So do now. Stage combat. You can see drama. You can see romance. You can see me attempt to speak French, having very sure. little idea of what I'm saying. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> inverse. French yeah. inverse. <laughs> I will say Henry so V is one like of my that. favorite Shakespearean plays. Henry V is a real good it's one. It's a fun one. I've, we have a fantastic Henry. We have a fantastic narrator. We have a fantastic cast. That's it's been really fun. Lead. Is what? that the one with the what now? Ah, oh, we lost Quinn. With the leaks? Is this the one with the leaks? The leaks? Yeah. If it is, I haven't seen that scene yet. Henry I'm in... It might be one of the Henrys. Leaks is not ringing yeah. a bell for me, but then I might be I like, know. just forgetting something from Henry. But... I don't know. Uh, I can't place it. If it is, I haven't seen that scene yet, because I'm technically it's... in like two scenes. And... This show is bizarre <laughs> in that it's this, it's this like war drama. And then every yeah. scene I'm in with Catherine mm -hmm. is a romance comedy. It sure. is is Henry V the one where he gets hilarious. Where he gets a gift of tennis balls. Yes. yes. yes this is that Okay, one. then yes. this is the one with the leaks in it. Okay. Okay. They they beat a man with leaks. It sounds and make about fun right. of him. Okay. Oh, it's, right. it's a comedy scene. Okay. Fair. Yeah, no, there's like a horror, there's like drama, war drama, and then every now and then they spot it with just like this yeah, silliest thing. Yeah, the clowns things. come in. The yeah. clowns come in to yeah. lighten the mood. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm a big fan of the Branagh version of that, um, especially mm -hmm. like Derek Jacobi's the narrator. Um, um, but anyway, cool, awesome, Henry V. Um, yeah! Uh, Justin, where can people find you? Uh, most anywhere on any and all social media is at lone underscore ranger 037 uh, here coming up every Tuesday now with the worst days with the rest of these fine fellows and every other Monday with delinquent comics voicing the character Ryan or his hero name Titan <laughs> the, the very famous superhero Ryan <laughs> <laughs> um, exactly. I love it. Just if, normal. If it were switched, his normal name's Titan, but yeah, his yeah. hero just name's normal, Ryan. Everyday dude. <laughs> yep. Just no powers in the world of a bunch of other people with powers. Yep. Um. Awesome. And uh, hey, go to apongames.com, uh, and you'll get links to our YouTube channel and all that stuff, as well as uh, we're sort of starting our last week push. There's like, we have I think 120 bucks or so to go on Broken to get that last stretch goal uh for broken which is like six different authors uh mm -hmm. writing scenarios for broken um and uh we're pretty excited about that and then we also have patreon.com slash all parts open where you can get everything we put out basically if it comes out in a month and you're a five dollar subscriber you get it so if that's a 40 page manual if it's a whole game whatever five bucks and above you you get everything we put out um 
And, uh, yeah, sign up for our mailing list, uh, apongamescom slash subscribe, and you get 10% off our uh, Cyberpunk setting on DriveThruRPG. So, uh, that's my spiel. And, uh, oh, TikTok. We have a TikTok. And we're releasing yes, fantastic. Our, yeah. our lore, our Cyberpunk lore mm-hmm. on TikTok. So, it's at Apon uh, mm. Games, and uh, that's that's our TikTok. Uh, go follow our TikTok. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, we put out, basically we put out lore a couple of times a week. We put out stuff about our games like once a week, and then we put out like questions for TTRPG talk. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah. Uh, all right, cool. So um, we also want to say uh, a huge thank you to Bree Price, who has been part of this uh, group since uh the beginning um we wish brie all the very best the best of luck uh the best fortune um and uh thank you brie for everything that you did as part of this group um we really appreciate it and uh so for michael morris for justin allen for quinn steve bold and for Rachel max i've been your host joshua wise this has been the worst days we hope you've had the best time good night everybody Ragdoll. Oh no! Yeah. Uh huh. Serpentine to fight the running serpentine. Serpentine. Run serpentine. Make a break for me. Cover me. <laughs> Reload! <laughs> Throw in a frag! Crowds on the